The priority is the safety of our children. Friday morning, dozens of angry parents along with frustrated neighbors. I mean, they found an ATM machine in that camp. Displayed signs over Interstate 5 in Seattle's Wallingford neighborhood. You know, and the government's just not taking care of it. Clearly targeting Governor Jay Inslee, officials with the Washington State Department of Transportation, and the King County Regional Homelessness Authority, especially its CEO, Mark Dones. He's on vacation right now. Oh, of course he is. This is where he should be, right here, right now. Accusing them of failing to remove the notorious Ship Canal Bridge homeless encampment that's been set up for more than a year right across the street from John Stanford International School. Shootings, fires, drugs. Critics say these mounting problems along with deaths at the camp are unacceptable. And it's not doing the people that live in this encampment any good. Ashley Kappel is making it very clear. Not. This is not against the unsheltered. It is not against the homeless. We want them to receive help and housing and get services. They're here to call out failed public policies that are allowing this blight to continue. But we also want our kids safe. At the same time, Stop the Sweep Seattle launched a counter-protest in front of the encampment. Get the fuck out of here, man! They're against anyone who wants to remove the tents and even the trash. They've said no. They've said no. Go someplace else. Who's they, Ed? Ed, who's they? Some of these activists prevented outreach group We Heart Seattle from entering for a scheduled litter pick. We already have a table set up. Or even dropping off coffee for these men and women. We've gotten permission. Tim Emerson tried to go in peacefully, but says this man physically pushed him away with a cardboard sign. Oh, the guy with the bike and the skirt? Yeah, that okay, guy. Yeah. That's the guy that assaulted me. Andrea Suarez says We Heart volunteers have been coming here for months to remove garbage. Get out of here with the camera. And says Stop the Sweep's activists are using the homeless as pawns to push their far left ideology. I just wish that the activists would stop putting words in the mouths of the homeless. As for parents and neighbors, they stayed away from this ruckus to focus on their own message. We're going to counter protest against parents that are concerned about the safety of their kids. Real, that nice. Makes sense, right? Eli Hosher says elected officials were invited to show up for conversations with parents, but no one did. This afternoon, the governor's office sent me the statement that reads in part, housing partners are finalizing housing options and will begin transitioning people next week to close the site by the end of March. It's gotten really bad. Karen Dalton says if the state does not follow through by the end of the month. Honestly, I wish she would. She wants the mayor to step in and take control of this situation. I don't feel like Carol has spoken out enough about it and stood up for our community because it is still Seattle.